Hi, I just wanted to uh, check back in with you again. Uh, welcome to my blog. It's Friday, July 4th, so happy Independence Day to everyone in the United States, um, and have a great Friday to everyone else out there. Um, let's see, the vlog seemed to go over pretty well, and uh, it also helps me out a little bit, because sometimes it's easier just to talk to you all than to type it all up. Um, like I said, today is Friday, July 4th, and because of that, I'm going to be down at the Blue Moon Gallery in Hot Springs, Arkansas for the first Friday gallery walk um, from 5 to 9 p.m. My work, Evidence of the Disappearance, the exhibition that you all know about, is still up, and it will be up for another four weeks, and so I'm really looking forward to be being back down in Hot Springs for gallery walk so that I can talk to people who have not yet had a chance to see the work. Um, and uh, discuss it with them. So I am looking forward to being down in Hot Springs. And since the show, um, I just kind of want to let you know what I've been up to um, and uh, tell you what's going on. First of all, if you've read my blog um, pretty regularly, you may recall a post I did uh, last year called, Oh No, It's the Post Show Blues, or something to that effect. Well, um, surprisingly enough, I've had a fair number of shows and um, every time I have a show uh, after the show there is a little bit of a letdown, a loss. Um, no matter how exciting and wonderful the show goes I still kind of feel you know that 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 sense of depletion uh, for good reason. I mean I've worked hard, I've had a purpose, I've had a focus, I've been painting all these paintings, I've been writing about them, talking about them getting excited, concepts are gelling, you know, you get in a groove, you get in that moment, and, uh, you know, you're great, you know, you're flying. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's hard, it's not all roses, but at the same time, it, it has its own momentum, and you just kind of get caught up in it. And then the show's up, and you feel like you ought to be over the moon, and things are selling, things are going great, you're getting good feedback, and then you come home to your home or your studio, and you're sort of like, well, what now? You know, what do I do? Especially for those artists who may not have another show on the horizon, or maybe they don't have another gallery to, you know, rotate work with, or, or whatever. So you might come home and just go, okay, that was great, but I feel tired, worn out, and I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do next. And um, like I said, even though I've gone through this process several times, it hit me again, and it took a really good friend of mine to kind of wake me up and remind me that that's what I was going through. So if you've ever experienced this, I, you know, please know that you're not alone and uh, that it does happen and it's natural and if you want more information about it you can read my old post, just look in the archives and you should be able to find it. So I, you know, very excited, very thrilled, uh, you know, six pieces sold, great reception, loving it, the work looks great, you know, you saw the pictures, all of that. Um, and then, okay, now what? So, but I worked through it, and uh, it was good, and I'm back on track, and um, I'm happy to be working. What I did was I, I created just a, I had some boards cut, just plywood, 8x10s, 12x12s, random sizes that I don't normally work with, and I don't normally paint on plywood either. So I wanted to create something where I could put paint down, I could keep moving, I could keep working, but at the same time, uh, it wouldn't be so precious. Uh, I knew that it was nothing the gallery would see, that this was just kind of, for me, it was more like an exercise. And so that's what I've been up to, is painting on these wood blocks and really enjoying that. It's been very freeing. And I think as a result of the wood blocks and doing that uh, painting, this non-precious, non-pressured, free painting, uh, I managed to, if you can see see that, uh, the past couple of days I've been working on this painting here, and I'm very, very excited about it. Of course, you can't really tell a thing from the, this video, but um, so I'm saying, yeah, you might feel depleted, but yeah, you keep on going, you get back on that horse, you keep on working, and then maybe something uh, exciting will happen. So that, 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 you know, then, and then that builds momentum, and you're like, wow, okay, I love that, let's do another, you know, let's, let's keep this going, and you build another momentum, or, or, you know, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you all, and then another thing I got into, 
is the evidence of the disappearance exhibition catalog. Now I know I've plugged it, there's two little badges on my blog, uh, but I just wanted you all to see it in reality because sometimes when we see things on the internet, it is sort of abstract and you don't really think of it as a real thing. And so as you can see, it's um, a, a slim uh, catalog, uh, but it is 38 pages of full color um, images. Uh, sorry, the cover's a little shiny, but it's uh, so flash. Uh, anyway, so this is another thing. I came back from my exhibition and I threw myself into creating and publishing this catalog. I'm very excited about it, as you can tell. And, you know, it is available at www.blurb.com and you can find a coupon code iStockPhoto2008, I believe, for $7 off shipping. So uh, this book is also available for sale in um, US dollars, pounds, and uh, euros. So it, everyone can enjoy it, hopefully. Um, basically, the book, you know, it's just a basic catalog. It has an intro. It has a, a small dedication to all my friends out there, uh, family, teachers who have influenced me. This is an example. So it's beautiful black pages, nice, fairly large image. The book itself is 8 by 10. It'll look great on your coffee table. So if you are inclined, uh, please pick one up. $5 from each sale goes directly to me, and that will enable me to, you know, keep working, uh, keep connected to the internet, you know, all the different things that I do to uh, connect to you. So if you'd like to support me, that would be great. No, no uh, pressured sales here. But I think you'll be pleased with the results of the catalog. So that's what I've been up to, uh, you know, keeping up with my blog. And that's been a real thrill for me to kind of go back to the original purpose of my blog, which was to share helpful information that I knew from being a practicing artist with other artists who are maybe just learning the ropes and they are feeling overwhelmed and they don't know what's good information or bad information or they're just overwhelmed by information and I try to cut that down. I know the blogs have been a little long lately um, but I try to bring the best points to you so that you can take some action and you can make some progress in your artistic life and I'm really thrilled and honored that some of you have really taken these ideas and run with them and you've got your postcards are being printed or have already been printed and they're fabulous or you've gotten your carbon made site or a new website or you've gotten the canvases out of the plastic and you're thinking about painting or you're creating your own studio or all these different things and you know that that um, brings me a lot of joy and it's it's really an honor to know that you all listen to me and you try to make these changes in your life and take what I say and utilize it and um, it's very exciting for me so thank you for sharing um, all of that with me I really appreciate it and I'm glad I can be of some assistance so you know keep on keeping on don't give up the fight um, make those postcards make those websites Put your own press release in the paper. Don't wait for anyone to help you. This is your show. And I do believe that if you are armed with some good information and some motivation and some support, that you can do this. And I appreciate all of you very much for tuning into the blog. Again, if you are in Arkansas, please come out to the First Friday Gallery Walk at the Blue Moon Gallery, Friday, July 4th from 5 to 9 p.m. I would love to talk to you about uh, the works of the evidence of the disappearance. And for everybody else, again, have a wonderful Independence Day or just a fantastic Friday. And I will talk to you all really soon. Take care. Bye.